I was always a fan of wrestling. But there's an episode of the WWF wrestling program that I regret watching. I was always a nice kid, quiet, reserved. Truthfully, Twizzlers and Goiterbrand Soda were the only guilty pleasures I had in life. Well, that and wrestling. I know you think wrestling is lame and phony, but when I was a kid, my uncle used to take me behind the playground in his underwear and teach me how he did his best wrestling moves. Before I tell you anything else about me, you should know that I am a doctor. I'm pretty fucking intelligent. Spent four years in college, four years in medical school, four years in post-residency, four years in Miami before I went back to Cleveland, only to have it all ruined during one split second of poor judgment on my part. You see, I'm not just any kind of doctor. I'm a proctologist. I spent eight years of my fucking life studying anuses of all shapes and sizes. I know what you're thinking. What's a proctologist doing talking about lost episodes? Well... As it turns out, I was on my lunch break. I was having a large salami sub covered in hot mustard after having just saved, saved a man's life being a doctor. Salami was quite salty, so I needed a refreshment in the form of bubbly soft drinks. I was drinking a Dr. Pepper because it is the drink of choice when you are a doctor. At least I don't Mountain Dew salt for a fucking living. What does that mean? Who cares? I'm a doctor. Anyway, it's hard saving lives. I just finished surgically cutting a man's ass open and removing an obstruction. Believe it or not, it was a VHS tape. Now, already know what you're thinking. How did a VHS tape get lodged in a man's asshole? Evidently, this guy was a huge fan of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and he was practicing dance moves when he slipped on a Virtual Boy console at every game for it, including Warriors, Pancake Adventure, or Waterworld, and HD. Now, normally we'd place the obstructions in surgical trays and hand them off to the police so that they could analyze them for possible murder clues. But this obstruction was different. As the nurse came in, I told her that he'd eaten too many Skittles and that was how he died. She informed me that the patient was still alive. I removed his IV, scattered some Skittles around his butt cheeks and left the office. Now, I've always been a huge wrestling fan. I was seeing those sweaty men in tights and leopard print leotards fumbling around while grinding their genitals. It inspired me to enter the medical profession. But this tape was different. Maybe it's because it had been in someone's ass, or maybe it was because somebody had written fuck you, you stupid fucking doctor, and marker on the front of it. I stopped at McDonald's on the way home, tried ordering a McRib sandwich, but they were out. I asked them to give me several McChickens and squeeze them into a McRib shaped patty. They said no. I informed them that I was a fucking doctor and I'd give them all cancer if they didn't proceed with my plans. So I strut up to the front of the drive through window on my tricycle. I never learned to drive or ride a bicycle and the bus is dangerous because I live in the inner city streets of Harlem. I demanded my nick ribs. I gave them a disheveled, angry cancer stare. They piled mountains of nick ribs onto my trike. I ordered my second Dr. Pepper and tricycled back to my $5 million apartment. Nick Ribs and VHS and tell. I noticed from the corner of my eye that there was a professional wrestler following my tricycle. I was driving down the sidewalk and he was following me with his car. What concerned me was that he was following me on the sidewalk, knocking over bushes, mailboxes, lampposts, while slowly following me. I thought nothing of it, knowing that wrestlers are known to be quite devious on their holiday of choice, single day mile. What do you know? Today was single day mile. I took off my doctor's coat, because I'm a doctor, and set up the piñata for two children to play with. I provided them with the festive piñata stick and told them to be careful, because the large pepia and machete model of their father's head was full of contraceptive sponges and dairy syringes. No, I don't have children, but I live alone. I call my dogs my kids. My dogs stood there on their hind legs. One was wearing a baseball cap, and the other sausage-shaped dog was playing the piano. Ah, what fun tricks I taught them during medical school. I gave them bacon strips, a special bacon made for dogs. I ate some, some myself. I just didn't taste like bacon at all. Felt strong disappointment, but... Now it's time for the VHS. I went over to the VHS tape player and pushed the lost WWF episode into the slot. I immediately heard a man screaming outside, Give me the fucking VHS and I break you into two pieces! I looked outside to see only two bushes, 
I'm not talking about U.S. presidents. I'm talking about foliage. But something professional wrestler shape was hiding in the bushes. May even have been a professional wrestler. Mm, could have also been two normal wrestlers or three midgets going together with the leotard on. But I thought nothing of it. A VHS tape to watch. As the bushes continued to threaten to beat me up, I watched the tape. Wait a minute. Bushes can't threaten. Yeah, I pressed play, being a huge fan of the old VHS library. I'm a bit of a VHS aficionado. I have all the lost episodes, wall to wall. I shouldn't have watched this VHS. There appeared to be a more recent WWF episode with all of my favorite wrestlers in hot spandex getting ready to beat each other up. I was told wrestling was fake. I never believed it. How could someone, something like that be fake? No. No. Wrestling is real because I say it is and I'm a real doctor. Talking love. The first wrestler came out with thunderous applause. He was a wrestler I wasn't familiar with. The announcer announced him. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear a dig round of applause for Cody Sands and Hernandez. The audience roared rather loudly as a nude Mexican man walked down the center platform toward the ring while the audience cheered rather loudly. Gave them all the middle finger and gyrated his ball sack toward the audience. They contained a chair, but they also threw soda at him. Some weird jalopy Hispanic music was playing, like the kind you hear outside of, like, a, like outside of a burrito cart in Little Havana. And here to take it on, representing the struggle for border control in current American society, thanks Obama, Please welcome! The announcer was cut off by gagging. It was Hulk Hogan, the famous professional wrestler. Or I look kind of like him, but more sinister. That's my fist in your ass, brother! He yelled and flexed his muscles. He looked more sinister. His veins were popping out of his neck and his skin was orange. His handlebar mustache flared. I'm gonna fuck all of you brothers up! He yelled at the audience. You see this VHS tape? He yelled, holding up a VHS tape. I'm gonna send you so far up your ass, and not even the best proctologist in the world will be able to remove, brother. Seems strange that the wrestler would threaten a man by shoving a VHS in his ass. Wait a minute. The, the very VHS tape I was watching. Now, personally, I was rooting for Comic Sans Hernandez. Hulk Hogan under the ring. I now notice that many people filling the seats looked like common garden variety Halloween skeletons you'd find at Walmart for six dollars and ninety nine cents. If you flip over those two nights, I don't know, think too deeply. Some of them even had the price tag still on them. You're going to be the skeleton when I fist your asshole and pull your skeleton through your asshole. He yelled, pointing through the television at me. They're gonna wear your skin like a chastity belt as I pound your fucking face, you, you goddamn nerd. I was really offended by all the ceiling. I'm gonna make them wear your skin to a Halloween party, then come dressed as the nerd. And wearing your skin at the Halloween party. And also, part of your skin will be the chastity belt. And wearing your skin at the Halloween party. Enough already. No one will hang around the person wearing your skin at that party. <sighs> I went over and shut the tape off, and Hulk Hogan was clearly rambling. Shut this fucking tape off, brother, and I'll shut your dick off with my fist. He kept yelling. His hands seemed to be coming out of the television in some weird 3D effect. I screamed and jumped back. He grabbed at my cock, but I was several inches from the TV, so he couldn't reach. What an amazing visual trick. I looked at the VHS tape and now noticed that this was made by Pixar. In fact, most of the Toy Story characters were in the front row of the wrestling match, drinking and promoting Mountain Dew products for the upcoming Pixar film, Dew. An endearing CGI movie about a drop of Mountain Dew that is underappreciated by a throat. 
Comic Sans the man Hernandez picked up the chair and smashed it on Hulk Hogan's head. He fell down with a visual bloody bump and started crying. Cass, he cried. My one weakness, brother. I was starting to get disturbed now. More disturbed than I'd ever been watching WWF wrestling. I looked out the window. Whoever was in the bushes was throwing plastic spiders at me in an attempt to spook me. It was working. Tears began to stream down my face. But I went back to watching. Hulk Hogan laid in a pool of his own blood, mumbling, The balls are mine! When I rip them off, it's going to be you that's drinking his own blood and... <laughs> Swallowed his own tongue. Drink my tongue, you tortoise brother! Comic Sans, the man showboated his skills to the Toy Story characters, the thunderous applause as an ambulance drove through the building, killing several people to reach the stage. He ripped off his pubic merkin, revealing the words, I winner, scrawled in Comic Sans font. But then something evil and sinister started to happen. Hundreds of hands began to reach toward the stage. They were celebrating Cinco de Mayo. They threw Mexican cuisine onto the stage. Chidis, Ranenos, Mole Sauce, even Tamales began to envelope the screen as Hulk Hogan laid there dead. A tiny chimpanzee jumped onto the set and started shaking maracas. My dogs began to dance. My dachshund swayed to the music, smiling at me. Oh, my son. My phone rang. I'm in the bushes, the voice said. It sounded rather rustlish, like a professional wrestler of sorts. If you ever want to see your children again, you better give me that goddamn VHS tape. I looked out the window. My two children! They've been kidnapped! I drove big and strips led two feet across the glass. My two dogs and sons, Stefan and Stefan, were dangling like hot dogs over a vat of boiling hot mustard. I'm gonna cook these dogs up real good. Like those McRib sandwiches you ate earlier. The old revealing you've been following me in a shocking twist. How is this for a surgical procedure, brother? He yelled and ripped off the yellow spandex of his pants. He shoved an entire donkey up his ass. You know, Doc, they say laughter is the best medicine. The donkey began to laugh at me. In his ass. I looked at my doctor's diploma. It was just a Denny's place, man. I scrawled on with a crayon. I wasted eight years of my life getting an uncredited degree in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Now I remembered the patient we were operating on. It was Comic Sans the Man Hernandez, a nudist prison convict from General Escobeda, New Mexico. So the VHS was real. I mean, of course it was, given how high quality the video was. No amount of CG in the world can make wrestling look real. No, Hogan said. My wrestling's not real, and you're not a real doctor. These aren't even real bushes, brother. I looked down. There were plastic bushes he'd strategically purchased at Walgreens and trapped me. His eyes grew blood red and blood began to drip from his face. So disheveled was Mr. Hogan that he grabbed me and bent me over. He pulled out a Buzz Lightyear action figure. To infinity and beyond! <laughs> I screamed bloody murder as the plastic Buzz Lightyear toy went straight up my ass. So I began to pass out I leered over at that car that had been following me. Someone was filming from the front seat using an old camcorder with a pop-out VHS tape. Let's see how Comic Sans Hernandez gets out of this one. Hulk Hogan laughed. They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> He laughed, bit into an apple. Laughter is the best medicine. He laughed loudly. I had to use that one. 
So I said, Rectum, brother, I nearly killed him. Well, Krogan laughed as I swallowed my tongue. My dachshunds began to cry as they were slowly lowered into the hot mustard and immolated death. Well, hot dog.